You may have realized that there's something different about a few side streets in KC. Nearly 40 of them are closed, except for local traffic. It's something the city has allowed for the last couple of weeks during the stay at home order. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers explains why neighborhoods have been signing up. It's been a nice change of pace on Mark McColl's block. We've been walking the streets of the neighborhood too and seeing a lot of other people out walking. Ever since his Brookside neighbors applied for a permit to partially close their section of 71st Terrace, the dog days of summer have seemed a little quieter. It's just really nice to have less traffic. Some families have been getting outside more during the emergency order. I love having it blocked off so that I can run and cross the street without worrying about traffic coming. They're protected by barriers of all shapes and sizes. Public Works didn't have enough. So the city encouraged some people to make their own temporary barricades. Yeah, there's been some real fun, creative ones that I've seen. But for some drivers, it means finding another route. It's a little inconvenient for us trying to head that way. Not every street is this peaceful. The streets that are open now, I kind of feel bad for the kids and families there because they have all the extra traffic now. Though Byron Moore appreciates some of the flair. I will give it to them. There's some pretty good coloring. The city issued guidelines for homemade barricades, including using reflective materials and leaving an open lane for local traffic and emergency vehicles. Glad the city came up with that. For the rest of summer. I hope that people respect the signs and realize that it's not permanent and things will go back to how they were. McCall and others hope to enjoy it. The city responded to something that was helpful for everybody. While it lasts. In Kansas City, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.